In the previous section, we have got .NET Core installed on our Mac OS. If you are on a Linux-based operating system, be it Ubuntu, CentOS, or any other for that matter, please pause the video now and get the .NET Core SDK installed on your system. As we begin with .NET Core, it might feel that a lot of effort is being put to create a simple project. But let me tell you, as you go on, this will give you a better understanding of exactly what's happening behind the scene when you work on Visual Studio for Mac. These commands are just like doing something manually which can be done using the GUI. So let's go ahead and see what we can do with .NET Core. So I'm going to open up my terminal and uh, I will just say first is .NET version which we did earlier as well. This gives us the version that is available to us. Now, to get started, we need to get some understanding on what we can do with this .NET command. So .NET Core is basically installed as a program that runs in your system and you can do multiple things with that. So I will say .NET help. .NET help gives me a couple of commands that I can execute with the SDK and here's a fairly good list i can add packages i can create new projects and this is where we will start if you just type in .NET new this gives you a list of templates that you can use to create your applications we can create a .NET core based console application we can create different projects like unit test project ASP.NET Core MT project, MVC templates, or many more. In this particular section, we will be creating a Hello World app. So let's get started. To create a console based application, you have to type in .NET new console. And you can pass in the name of the project that you want to be created which should be the output name. So I'm gonna say, call it simple hello world. So it has created the project and uh, behind the scenes, it has run the restore command .NET restore, which means that any dependency that that project particularly had will be restored. So let's do an ls. So I have the directory created as hello world. If I get inside hello world, and do an ls again i have a dot cs project dot program dot cs and an obj directory let's open up uh, the program dot cs first and you will see that this looks exactly like what it used to be so this is how program dot cs file looks everywhere be it windows mac os or linux you look at the hello world cs project file this file contains all the details about what your project consists of so if you read through it it says that it will be a output type of exe which means it's a console based application and uh, the target framework that we are using for this is dotnet core 2.1 imagine a scenario where you have a couple of dependencies on other libraries or nugget packages those will be added to this file to build this project file it's fairly simple all you need to do is type in dotnet build and it as an argument you have to pass in the project file that you want to build so it will build and uh, let you know the, if there are any errors so we can see the build was successful and to run this project we have to do is .NET run hello world dot CS project. And as you can see, the hello world is there for us. Let's go ahead and do something that will break the application. So I'm going to remove this semicolon and we should get a compilation error. So let's build the application again. So as you can see, I'm getting a very clear error that it was expecting a semicolon at line number nine and column number 46. So it, this gives me a build errors as well. So let's fix that and do something else. Uh, 
I'm going to build the application again. The build passes, and it if you, if it notice this restore completed, which means that every time you build, uh, like you do in Visual Studio on Windows, it, it uh, behind the scenes it tries to make sure that all the packages or dependencies are available to the project, and that's what exactly it, it is doing. So let's run the project again. Now if you notice, I did not pass the project name again to the .NET run. And uh, this is this is because I'm currently in the same directory as my project file is. So it's it by default will pick the project file that is available in the current directory. Let's just move our directory up. Now, since I'm outside the directory which contains my CS project file, I will have to be a little more specific. So, which means uh, I will have to say .NET run hyphen hyphen project and I will have to specify the project file. And as you can see, it works perfectly fine. So, that's all for this section. In this section, we have seen how we can get started with .NET and uh, how we can create a very basic console based application. Uh, going ahead, we will see uh, how we can create MVC based application or a, any unit based application, which will contain our test cases and how we can combine them all together, club them and create a complete solution.